Hi guys, welcome back. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, today we're going to do a video on Greece and our first location for volcanoes is Kos. Kos, the island of Kos is dominantly non-volcanic but contains Miocene to Pliocene volcanic crater centers. The Camari caldera is of mid-Pliocene age. So I figured we'd um, go and look around this area if we can. See if we have some views here. So we do here. Let me look at this beautiful, beautiful countryside here. And moving on to our next location is Madonna Volcano. And it shows historical is here. Mathana Volcano Peninsula contains some 32 volcanoes, including the Mathana Volcano, that are mostly andesitic and dacitic lava domes. On Mathana, there are thermal springs and muffets. So we'll back out a little bit. And we'll look, and you can see here. Malia, Glady Lava Dome, Choni Lava Dome, Melissa Lava Dome, Panagitsa Lava Dome and Lava Flow, Chalona Lava Dome, Chinosia Lava Dome, Lutessa Lava Dome, Sonaki's Lava Dome, Lava Dome, Makrisa Lava Dome, Lava Dome, Kasona Lava Dome, Small Lava Dome in the Strato Longus Caldera. You can see another Lava Dome here. And what we're going to do is see if we have any walkthrough here. And we do, so we'll go around here. It would be like kind of in the middle. So anyway, we can look and we could go down a little bit down the trail. Whee! Okay, so we can look over this way. Can't really see too much with the trail here. There's some right here. You can see there's quite a bit through here. I don't know if there's any on them. We'll go right here. Let's see, right here. Well, Mathana is right here. So we'll go to Mathana because I see one sitting right here. So we'll go right there. So if it'll take us right there. And we're on the top. Oh, looks like a building. Uh oh. Okay, so anyway, we're on a building. There's humans. And it looks like there's buildings here as well, which is totally cool. And that's a volcano peak, historical volcano. Moving on to the next one, Milos. Milos is a volcanic Greek island in the Aegean Sea, just north of the Sea of Crete. Milos is the southwesternmost island in the Clyde's Clyde's Lades Cyclades group. <laughs> Sorry. So we'll see we have any views here. And we have some down here, so we'll go here.
You can look at this beautiful view here. And this is Florentia Beach. Fatorenta, for sorry, Fatorena Beach. Our next one is Nisiros. Nisiros is a volcanic Greek island and municipality located in the Aegean Sea. The island has three kilometers, three kilometer wide caldera, and was formed within the past 150,000 years, with three separate eruptive stages ranging from explosive and effusive and acidic eruptions to explosive and effusive decidic and rhyolitic eruptions. That is like totally cool. So let's see, we have a view in this area. We do, and we'll go right here. So we get to look around here. Wow, that is like amazing. And this is Nusros. Our next location is Stephanie's Crater, which is in the same area. Stefanos. Stefanos Crater is 4,000 to 5,000 years old known simply as the volcano, elliptical in shape with a diameter ranging from 260 meters to 330 meters and 27 meters deep. Stefanos is in fact one of the largest and best preserved hydrothermal craters in the world. Wow, that is like totally neat. Okay, so let's see here. We have views in Stefanos. We sure do. So we'll go here. That is amazing. Look at the ground, you guys. And moving on to our next one, which is Poros. Poros consists of two islands, Safaria, the southern part, which is of volcanic origin, where today's city is located, and Calaria. This is Poros here. And this is where the city is located. And then you have the other island, which is here. So we're going to go over on Poros. We see if we can get a, a view here. We'll go here. I think we're in the middle of a field here, but we'll go here. And you can see we're on top 
but we're at somebody's house still. Oops. Okay, so anyway, some of these views end up putting you in other places. <laughs> Let's see if we have another one. We had one that was at that, so I don't know. I think we went to this one already, maybe. Yeah, we did. Okay, so anyway, we're up on top. And not in the right place. And moving on to our next one. Santorini. Santorini. Well, this one is interesting. Santorini is the largest island with a small circular archipelago which bears the same name and is a remnant of the volcanic caldera. Santorini includes the inhabited island of Santorini and Thracia, and the uninhabited island of Nia Kamani, Palea Kamani, Esperanisi, and Christiana. And this here is Nia Kamani. This here is Santorini. Let's we'll see, we have a view from over here. We're going to go down here. And we can get a view off of here. So that's Nicomini over here. I think. I think. this one. And moving on to our next one is Niakamani. Niakamani is a small uninhabited Greek island of volcanic origin located in the Aegean Sea within the flooded Santorini volcano or caldera, sorry. Niakamani and the neighboring small island Paleakamani the new and old burnt islands have formed over the past two millennia by repeated eruptions of dacite lava and ash. And let's see, we have any views here. And we have some down here, so we'll go here. People, oops. Okay, so. Can get a look back this way. I guess a lot of visitors come to this island. So let's see if we can get another view up here. All right. Check out the view. And that was Nia Khamenei. Moving on to our next one. Susaki Volcano. Susaki Volcano is an extinct volcano and modern Solfatera field in northeastern Corinthia. Greece, at the northwest end of the Aegean Volcanic Arc. And I believe there's some views around here, maybe. There may not be. And we'll go down here. Um, didn't see anything from there.
So we look back this way. You can see Susaki is back in this area. Yeah, moving on to our next one, Giali. Giali is a volcanic Greek island in the Dodoknis, located halfway between the south coast of Kos and Nisiros. Parts of the island, undergoing pumice strip mining, are barren of vegetation. You can see the mining that's going on over here. I don't know if there's views here or not. And there does not appear to be. But you can see the mining that's going on here. And over here as well. Our next location is Adina. Adina is an extinct volcano. It constitutes two thirds of Adina. The southern volcanic part of the island is rugged and mountainous and largely barren. Its high rise is the conical Mount Oros in the south and the Panhelion Ridge stretches northward with low fertile valleys on each side. So we'll go around here and look. We can see the areas up here. So now we're up in this area. No, we go to up here. Having a little fun here. Okay, so there's a good look of the town down below. And moving on to the next one. Valos Atalanti. Valos Antalanti is a volcanic field containing many small monogenic Pliocene to Pliocene lava flows, cones, and domes. So let's look at this area here. And we can see what it looks like to be some mining over here. And we'll go here. Okay. 
And then we get a good look over here. You can see domes here. And moving on to our next one, sporades. Sporades is a lava dome on the island of Sathoria, characterized by overlapping lava flows is the northernmost quaternary volcano in Greece. And this is Spathoria. And we're going to see if there's a view in this area. There may or may not be, and there is not. This one did not have a very good view. Anyways, you guys, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and we'll be back with more videos. And have a great day.